Hello and good evening. Today it is Monday, January 11th, 2021. And for this video today, I will be discussing the announcement the National Hockey League has made that there will be two outdoor games in the upcoming 2020, well, basically just a 2021 NHL season. So not only am I talking about that in this video today, but I will be sharing my thoughts on the uniform matchups that have been unveiled for the two outdoor games. So first off, I just want to mention first off that um, these photos were posted by Aesthetics on his Twitter today. So this is a special outdoor logo that the National Hockey League has created for this two outdoor game um, event where they will be holding two outdoor games at Lake Tahoe. And I must say, I was not expecting this right now during the pandemic. And I think the National Hockey League definitely deserves a tip of the cap for putting this together. The fact that they're going to be giving us two outdoor games at a time where we are dealing with an awful pandemic and nobody is able to go and see any hockey live right now. Um, this is pretty damn cool, if you ask me. I'm a big fan of this move because, you know, under with everything that we've been going through, to see some outdoor hockey, it's going to be such a nice little uh, bonus this coming season. I mean, it's bad enough that the poor... National Hockey League has had to realign all of the vi the divisions so that all of, for example, all of the Canadian teams are playing in one division this year. You know, seeing this emergency realignment under the circumstances we're in right now, the fact that the NHL is going to pull off a 2021 season, and even though it's shortened, and also now two outdoor games, in my opinion, is pretty damn commendable. And I must say, I'm very excited about this announcement and getting to see some outdoor hockey, even under the circumstances we're in right now. So, I would be very shocked if the National Hockey League has any fans in any of the NHL arenas this coming season, let alone these two outdoor games at Lake Tahoe in the States. So... You know, I know that in the NFL, there have been some stadiums and some cities that have allowed uh, physically distanced, limited seating capacities. Will we see that in Lake Tahoe? I would not be surprised if we don't. But hey, I must say too, that is actually a nice logo that they put together. You know what the hell with it. I'm going to go back and show that photo. Why not? Um... Yeah, I must say, even that logo, I'm a fan of the logo they created, too, under the, uh, what's the term for it? Under the uh, short notice. So now I want to talk about the two outdoor games that, and the teams playing in each outdoor game. So we will have one Western Conference matchup and one Eastern Conference matchup outdoors at Lake Tahoe this year. So the first, and the one thing I also want to point out too, is that both games will have all four of the teams participating, sporting their new reverse retro uniforms. So for the Western Conference outdoor game, we have the Colorado Avalanche donning their Quebec Nordiques reverse retro uniform against the Vegas Golden Knights donning their Vegas or sorry Las Vegas Thunder inspired red reverse retro uniforms. So this is the jersey and uniform matchup that we are getting for this outdoor game at Lake Tahoe and as much as it would have been nice to see both teams do some type of special outdoor uniform on top of the reverse retro I can live with this. I'm happy with this matchup, and I like that both teams are going to be doing something different. Now, even though I do, even though I'm in an extreme minority when I say that I would have preferred Colorado not to do a Nordiques reverse retro, only because I really just want to see Quebec City get a, a team of their own again, I think they deserve it. Obviously, that's a matter of opinion. Um, this is going to be a nice looking uniform on outdoor ice. And, you know, even though I think it would have been amazing if Colorado would have either done A, a blue reverse retro of their original white and burgundy jerseys from the mid 1990s with the extra outlines on the jersey design. 
and or 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 that or a uh, Colorado Rockies inspired uniform that is as close to being the Colorado Rockies without actually being the Colorado Rockies. Um, this uniform looks good, and I can't wait to see it on the ice. It's going to look great. I mean, even though I do wish that Colorado did not elect to do a Nordiques faux back for their reverse retro uniform, it looks great. And it's so nice to see something Quebec Nordiques on the ice again. I just hope that Quebec City gets a chance to have an NHL franchise again. They deserve it, in my opinion. But... This is going to look good. The Golden Knights um, Las Vegas Thunder inspired reverse retro. I have to be honest. It's not my favorite. Now, I do like that they've put the uh, shoulder patch logo on the front. I know a lot of people have wanted to see that. So I tip my hat to the Golden Knights for doing that for this uniform here. But I have to be honest. I'm not a big lover of this jersey. One thing I don't like is the steel gray striping on here. I get that that's their main color, but it would have looked so much better if the steel gray striping here was black to match the black on the bottom of the arms and on the bottom of the jersey. And obviously not everybody's going to agree with that. And another thing I don't care for is the gold toilet seat collar. To me, it should have either been a solid black collar with gold piping or just a solid black collar. You know, it's... It's not my favorite design, and I'm also not a fan of the Golden Knights continuing to wear the steel gray helmet. I think a black helmet would look way better on all three of their uniforms that use the steel gray helmet. Their home uniform, their third alternate uniform, and their reverse retro uniform you see here. But I know not everybody's going to agree with me, but man, I, I think the Golden Knights should switch to a black helmet for their home uniform and their reverse retro uniform. Because I think the black would complement the un both uniforms much better than the gray. Even though I do agree the steel gray helmet is unique. Nobody else has it. I do think it looked better in black. But basically this outdoor game is kind of going to be a cross between a winter classic and a stadium series. Where you have a more, you have a design here that's a little bit more non-traditional versus a more traditional throwback styled uniform, which this one is basically a throwback, but it's really, I call it a faux back because instead of using the actual original design, they took the original design and recolored it in avalanche colors. So I think this is going to be an all right matchup for the outdoor game. Now, as I say that, would I do I think it would have been super cool to have seen Colorado play the Sharks wearing their 91 Heritage uniform this year in this outdoor game absolutely that would have looked better in my opinion but as I say that though I do think it is really really nice that the Golden Knights are getting to participate in an outdoor game instead of a team that's already been in an outdoor game like Colorado was coincidentally uh, a year ago in the stadium series wearing those awful uniforms against the Los Angeles Kings now, would that have been a nicer looking reverse retro jersey matchup? Yes, but I'd rather see a new team get to participate in an outdoor event, which the Golden Knights get to this year. And I'm actually hoping that the Vegas Golden Knights will eventually get to play in an outdoor game in front of a capacity crowd eventually, which I think they will. Hopefully all NHL teams get that chance eventually. Now, now on to the Eastern Conference jersey matchup for the second outdoor game that'll be played in, at Lake Tahoe. You have the Boston Bruins in their reverse retro versus the Flyers in their reverse retro. So notice this is going to be a color versus color game where we have Boston in yellow and the Flyers in orange. Now I do think the black heavy orange jersey will be able to... Thanks to this being so black heavy, I do think that the contrast between the two uniforms will work. But this will be the first yellow versus orange jersey matchup since probably the 1988-89 season. And, you know, as much as I think it's nice to see color versus color once in a while, for an outdoor game especially, yellow versus orange, in my opinion, was a bad choice. I'm not a fan of this move at all, of orange versus yellow. Now, I understand that the NHL is doing these two matchups so that both all four teams are wearing reverse retros, which I can appreciate that. 
I respect that decision, but you know, I'm sorry, but yellow versus orange is an ugly looking Jersey matchup. And you know, for one game, is it a deal breaker for me? No, but you know, you know what would have been really nice if, for example, Boston could have either worn a, their heritage third Jersey that they brought out last year, where it could have been a black versus orange matchup, or they could have had, you know what else would have been nice? An opportunity for the Boston Bruins to dust off their 2019 Winter Classic uniform for this game against Philadelphia. And I have to also say this too. Um, the only reverse retro jersey out of these four that I actually like is the Nordiques one. I mean, Boston's, I love that they're using a yellow jersey. But I hate the white on the cuffs of the arms. And I don't like the mismatched striping that their socks will be using. And on top of that, I, I just I feel like there's something missing with the striping. I actually think it would have been better if they would have just filled it in with white and had that match the socks. I don't know. It's maybe just my opinion, but it, it looks all right. But what they should have done is instead of the white on the cuffs of the arms, I think that one thing that's been bothering me is ever since I saw this prototype that actually had the black on the cuffs of the arms, why didn't Boston just go with this? I mean, sorry for going on about it, but I, I just, I think they could have done better. So, you know, I have to also say another thing. I think for an outdoor matchup, because of the reverse retros, I actually think that Pittsburgh would have been a better choice. So that way we could have had a yellow jersey versus a white jersey. Um, who else is in their division? I mean, I'm not sure if the New York Rangers are in the same division as the Boston Bruins this year, but if they are, I mean, it would have been nice to see the Navy blue Lady Liberty uniform or the New York Islanders Navy blue reverse retro against this yellow jersey, just so that there's better contrast. Now, it's only one game. I can live with it, but for an outdoor game, I do think the National Hockey League could have done a better job for this uniform matchup. I really do, because to me, orange versus yellow, if you can avoid it, it's a good idea. Now, back in the from 1967 all the way through till 1989, we did have instances where the Flyers would wear orange on the road against a team such as the Pittsburgh Penguins at times, the Los Angeles Kings, or the Vancouver Canucks, who did actually used to wear yellow at home instead of white. So for that, all right. That at the time, those matchups were very few, and it didn't happen very often. So I could live with that, but. When you've got a planned outdoor event like this, I do wish that they would have picked another team instead of the Flyers or a different team besides Boston, just so that the two uniforms would contrast each other a lot better. You, If you had, for example, Boston and the Rangers or Boston and the Islanders, yellow versus navy blue would be a beautiful matchup. Or yellow versus black. Or even yellow versus white is doable, even though... I would prefer that in my scenario, in a perfect scenario, I would prefer if Boston stays in the game and you sub them, sub the Flyers out for a team who has a jersey color for their reverse retro uniform that actually complements and contrasts with the beautiful bright golden yellow jersey base that Boston's jersey has here, as you can see. So I'm very excited about these outdoor matchups. Um, I'm happy to see a couple of outdoor games this coming season because you know what to give us something a little extra something a little different I must say um, I tip my cap to the National Hockey League for pulling this off um, could the uniform matchups have been a little bit better in my opinion yes but you know Colorado did just play the Los Angeles Kings in the stadium series a year ago so it's such a good thing a very good choice not to repeat that Not or basically a year later. I'm glad they didn't. It just wouldn't be right. Now, it would have been nice to see Colorado even get to play the San Jose Sharks. But I must say, at the same time, though, I'm happy for the Golden Knights fans because I do think the red versus white here is going to look good on outdoor ice. 
But the Golden Knights Reverse Retro, it's it's not my favorite, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me there. And if you do, I, I mean, I respect your opinion, but I don't know. I think that outdoor game is going to be fine. It also would have been nice if they picked a team other than Colorado that maybe hasn't been in an outdoor game before, such as Arizona. Imagine Arizona versus the Golden Knights here. I think that actually would have been better, even though to see an Ordeaux jersey on outdoor ice, though, uh, you can't, in my opinion, that's just, you can't go wrong with that. That's going to look good. But Boston and Philadelphia, you know, I get it. These are two marquee cities with big hockey fan bases. And I don't blame the NHL for wanting to get as much exposure and TV, or TV audience numbers and good TV ratings as possible. But I don't like this uniform matchup. Do I think it'll work for one game? Yeah. Can I live with it for one game? Yes. But in my opinion, I think the National Hockey League could have done a better job with this here. I mean, it would have imagined Boston either wearing their 2019 Winter Classic sweater against this uniform or their third jersey or even having Boston play a team such as the Islanders or the Rangers with that actually have a reverse retro that has a color aka like navy blue that would actually complement the bright yellow jersey base of the Bruins so damn well. Now, that would have been nice. But you know what? As I say all that, though, folks, I'm just happy to see some type of outdoor event. The fact the NHL's even doing this is pretty damn incredible, and I think it deserves some praise. I don't know about you, but the National Hockey League, in my personal opinion, definitely deserves the tip of the cap for pulling this off and putting this together. Uh, that's going to be pretty damn cool. So there you have it. There are my thoughts on that. Uh, let me know how you feel in the comments section below. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And until my next video, video, you guys, take care. And as I always say, bye for now.